If you followed along with the videos in this series, at this point you should have a well-structured ad campaign up and running. Congratulations! So now what? In this final video of the Getting Started series, we'll look at a few things you can do right away to begin fine-tuning your campaign. For starters, there are three simple but powerful tools you can use to improve your campaigns. Negative keywords, ad targeting, and dynamic text. Let's take a quick look at each one. Negative keywords prevent your ads from displaying for search queries that contain your keywords but are not relevant to your ad. For example, in the Summer Airfare campaign, we bid on the broad match keyword European Airfare, which means your ad could display for related queries like European Airlines and European Cruises. To make sure the ad doesn't display for related searches like this, we can add the terms as negative keywords. You can add negative keywords to individual ad groups or to the entire campaign. To add them at the campaign level, click the campaign name. Then, click Keywords. Here, under the View menu, choose Negative Keywords, then Add Negative Keywords. Negative keywords are one of the most important tools to help you achieve your campaign ROI goals, so make sure to take advantage of them. Next, consider using targeting to show your ads to only those people who meet specific criteria. Click the Settings tab to find your targeting options. You can target by location, day of the week, time of day, demographics, and devices. Let's limit these ads to run just in the United States, since our airfare specials are only available to flights originating in the U.S. We know our customers do most of their vacation research on weekends, so we can set the ads in this campaign to run only on Saturday and Sunday. By now it's probably clear why this is called targeting. You can zero in on exactly the audience you want for a particular ad group or campaign. Finally, great ad copy attracts customers, and by using the dynamic text feature, you can get customers to help you write it. From the Ads tab, click Create Ad. In this example, I want the title of my ad to include the keyword in my ad group that triggered the ad to display to a search user. In the Add Title Text field, click Dynamic Text, Placeholder Keyword. Now, when someone searches on European Airfare, this ad will automatically display like this. Whereas, a search for flights to London will look like this. Dynamic text is a powerful way to deliver highly custom and relevant ads based on what customers search for. Make sure to check out the help topics and videos on dynamic text to learn to use it most effectively. One last tip. Don't forget to monitor the performance of your ad campaigns using some of the Microsoft Advertising Reporting tools. I recommend starting with the Keyword Performance Report. This report shows you all of the important information about your keywords. Traffic, pricing, ranking, and more, right in one place. If you take away just one thing from this video, realize the secret of creating a strong ad campaign is taking the time to make it strong. The tools and techniques I've shared in this video are just a few of the many ways to help you do just that. I think you'll find that search marketing is one of the simplest and most effective ways to get your business in front of people who are actively searching for it.